Hey there, Royal Watchers and drama lovers. It's your boy Ben back with another scorching hot take on the never-ending soap opera that is the British Royal Family. So buckle up, guys. This tea is about to be spilled and it's hotter than a summer's day in Buckingham Palace. So what's the latest Royal kerfuffle here, you ask? Well, hold on to your crowns, folks, because we've got ourselves a full-blown beard war between Prince William and his little brother, the artist formerly known as Prince Harry. That's right, we've gone from actual wars to facial hair feuds. God save the monarchy indeed. Now let's break it down. Our boy Wills, future King of England and apparent rebel without a cause, decided to sport a bit of a scruff in a recent video with Kate. And wouldn't you know it, this seemingly innocuous grooming choice has set off a powder keg of raw drama that's got more layers than the Queen's wardrobe. Now, for those of you who haven't been keeping up to date with the Royal Chronicles, and honestly, who has? Let me catch you up. Apparently, in 2018, when Harry was getting hitched to Meg, he says, I'm going to shake up the monarchy. Meghan Markle, there was a whole to do about Harry wasting and wanting is to keep his beard for the wedding, according to Harry's tell all book spare, which, let's be honest, should have been titled, I've got some things to get off my chest. William went absolutely ballistic. Over the beard, he accused Harry of putting poor old granny in an uncomfortable position by asking her permission to keep the facial fuzz. I mean, really, the Queen managed to navigate decades of turmoil, but a bit of ginger stubble is what's going to throw off a game. Give me a break. But here is where it gets really rich, guys. Harry, in all his wisdom, described his beard as a security blanket. I'm sorry, what? A grown man? A prince no less needs a security blanket of facial hair? It. I've heard everything now, guys. And now... Years later, William decided to join the Beard Brigade. Talk about a plot twist. Is William's way of extending an olive branch to his brother? If anything, it's a can-do-better situation. But let's take a step back for a moment and appreciate the absolute absurdity of the situation. We've got two grown men here, princes of the realm, supposedly at war over who can grow the better beard. It's like a middle school playground dispute, but with crowns and castles. Is this the reality of what the monarchy has become to beard walls and public spats? And let's not forget the real victim in all of this. Poor Kate. Imagine having to sit there smiling for the camera while your husband's facial hair is causing an international incident. That woman deserved a medal or at least a good spa day. But here's the kicker, folks. While William and Harry have been busy measuring their beards, the rest of the world is dealing with actual problems. You know, little things like climate change, economic crises and global pandemics. But sure, let's all focus on whether or not the future of England's beard is going to stay or go. And can we talk about Harry? This is the same guy who fled the royal family faster than you can say. Megxit claiming he wanted privacy or normalcy. Yet here he is airing all the dirty laundry in books, Netflix specials, you name it. It's oversharing. But let's be real for a sec. What we're witnessing here is the death of Froze of relevance. William and Harry want the dynamic duo of the royal family and now reduced to squabbling over facial hair. It's like watching a Shakespearean tragedy, but with less iambic pentameter and more beard oil. The saddest part, the fact that these two brothers, who once seemed so close, are now apparently at war over something as trivial as facial hair. It's a testament, guys. Of how deep they've fallen. What happened to the boys who walked behind their mother? United in grief. Now they're united in only one thing. The ability to generate headlines. And let's not forget the real puppet master. They're the ones fanning the flames. Beard war. Turning every grooming choice into a potential declaration of hostilities. It's like they're playing royal chess. And William and Harry as the pawns and the public are all too eager to watch the game unfold. So what's next in the saga? Will Charles weigh in with his own facial hair statement? Mm, will we see Camilla sporting a moustache? At this point, nothing would surprise me. The royal family has just become a parody of himself. So in the meantime, let's all pour one out for the concept of royal dignity. It died somewhere between Harry's security blanket comment and William's rebel beard. May it rest in peace along with our expectations for mature behaviour from grown men in positions of power. That's all for today, royal watchers. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And hey, if you're feeling generous, maybe send a donation our way. And like some people, we don't have the royal fortune to fall back on. So, until next time, this is Ben signing off for now.